You're watching Influence Me Wednesday with Morale All Things Hair. Hello, my name is Morel O'Kane, and it's Morel All Things Hair Dot Media. It's the Hair Debate, and we are here with Elaine Lord. I'm truly excited. Okay, e Elaine Lord Hair Studio, and we are spotlighting Elaine for the many things that she is doing in this industry. Elaine, how are you doing today? I am doing really good. How are you? I am absolutely great and truly excited, Elaine. You know, um, you are a hair care provider. Yes, I am a hair stylist. Actually, I have been styling hair for over 35 years, so it's my passion. Did you say 35? <laughs> and, oh my God, and she looks 25, so well, I have the time. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now, 35 years you have been in this industry, mm -hmm. and you are truly making a change. I love the community service that you're doing. And so can you tell our viewers, like, what, you know, Elaine Lord, what have you brought into this industry? Well, I um, my passion is hair, but the next yes. best thing to passion is giving back to the community. Yes. And that's what I love doing, um, you know, the most out of our industry because we can do that. We are in an industry that can give back to the community because we're with um, people. Absolutely. And we um, talk to people. You never know who's going to be in our chair. And um, it's just your um, clients become your friends. They become your connection. And they can um, help you. And they want to help you because they love hairdressers. They love us. <laughs> and they do. They do. And when I tell you, but now when it comes to this community, it's one thing to talk about, you know, giving back. You know, it's, it's, but there's another when you actually do it. You know, and so what um, Elaine has created is a beautiful organization. Tell us about that organization. Well, it's um, the Association of Stylists and Barbers, and it's composed of several stylists and barbers that love to give back to the community. And um, back in the, when I first started doing hair, my passion was to make a hair style. And um, I was lucky enough to have um, several clients that could yes. help me put this together. And this got me to talking to many stylists and barbers, and I found out that they love doing what I yes. love doing, and that is giving back to the community. And giving back to the community is like an investment. Yes. It's where you um, can invest your time in doing good, and you just don't know what the future you're going to bring back to you. And yes. I have seen so much of that happen. Oh, my God. And um, it's, it's just, I mean, it's, it's just the thing that we can do, and I love doing that. Okay, so now, you. so did you create the hair magazine or the book that you was looking to do? Yes, I um, started out with a book, but then with my stylist and walking friends becoming their um, industry is the publishing industry. They get a magazine and something really cool that we can do. Okay. And I have a magazine here and feature a lot of my stylists and barbers that have brought um, good back to the community. And um, that's what I like doing too. The main thing for my magazine is teaching others how to give back. Yes. Because um, I've been to hair shows and a lot of the hair show are the performing artists. They say the number one thing that we can do is to give back to the community, but absolutely they don't know how. And um, with my magazine, the styles of artists that are a part of it are teaching others what they're doing in their community yes. to give back. And it's just creating awareness. Um, like I said, the stylists and barbers, they have clients that they, they don't know where to get. Absolutely. And so they love helping us out in class. So I started um, one, of the th one of the events, because we have several hair ranging events. Yes. But the one um, event that Dosha Harris brought to our meet meetup was the Pentagon for Autism. Yes. And um, she started it in Virginia. She shared it with us, and um, it ended up to where... We started it in 2011. Okay. And since then we've raised over seventy thousand dollars. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> so, okay, seventeen thousand. Seventeen. To this one organization. Uh -huh. Oh, how absolutely beautiful that is. And and we're growing. Okay. This year we've got um we've got I've, it started our wow our organization started the autism cutathon um, mm -hmm. in 2011. 
it was just a weekend. And now that there's so many of us wanting to be a part of it, we've wow. extended it to a five week booking period. You know how we okay. applying for five weeks? Is, yes. Because everybody wants to be a part of it. And we, um, we can't just do that in a couple days like we have started. It's growing. So now we have it between, um, the, it's always the Labor Day, the weekend before Labor Day weekend, which was this past weekend. And it'll go through the five week period from September 29th. And we have several stylists and barbers participating, including Miss Morale. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and Elevation yes. Hair Studio. And um, several stylists and barbers yes. are in, um, not just here in the metro Atlanta area, but we've got, we've grown through Florida. I mean, uh, yes. And we've got some um, Samantha Pigtails in um, the barbershop there in Florida, um, Cutting Edge Barbershop. They're all participating. I'm from Evansville, Indiana, so we've got Evansville participating. Okay. We've got Chicks Stylists and barbers participating in um, North Carolina, New Jersey, and it's just catching on. So that um, is we're growing in that respect where basically yes. what we're doing is creating autism awareness. Yes. And then we um, take the profits and we are going to give them to our clients that we know that need autism therapy for their children that are on the autism spectrum. Wow. So that's what we're going to be doing with the, the funds raised. So now, let me say this, um, if you are a hair care provider about making change, wanting to give back to the community, this organization is something that you definitely want to be a part of, TASB, and you can actually go online to TASBvolunteer.org and then contribute your time and talents. Exactly. It's, um, it's something that everybody can do. We do raffles. We can keep it simple and just... Um, you know, it, it can be simple, or you can bring it up to, you know, dress it up and have a contribution to your clients. Uh, um, you can have uh, events where they're doing a dance, or they have, uh, you know, they have vendors come in. And, Absolutely. Uh, um, food and, and, you know, all that good stuff. So you can keep it simple, or you can dress it up. It's whatever works for you. You can have it on the day that works for you. Um, everybody is so, it's so creative because the styles of barbers, you know how creative we are. Yes. And when we get an idea in our head, you know, we kind of tweak it around and it gets better. So that's yes. what's happening. Um, we started out with just seven salons, and as of today, we've got over 30 salons participating this year. Okay. So and that's 30 salons that is definitely creating change because, again, that's the point. It's not just being in this industry, and we are much more than just hair care providers, but again, about respecting and making change in the industry. Exactly. And another thing, it. too, is that it's not just the autism cut of that we're doing. Yes. We um, did an anti-bullying campaign last month. Yes. And that was where we did a walk for change, and we addressed low self-esteem, suicide, and bullying. Yes. And um, hairdressers, we can, we can make people feel good on the outside as well as on the inside. We've helped people in um, women in shelters. We've helped um, cancer survivors. Hey, you, know, you guys yeah. did something raise money for Haiti. Yes, we did. We uh, collected, we did a, a equipment drive during the, um, when they had the earthquake. Uh -huh. And um, we have partners with um, Big Sam and And they were able to go back and forth and we brought um, equipment and products and helped them in Haiti. I thought that was really cool. Oh, that's beautiful. So, um, yeah, we're not just um, one organization or one event that we do, one Absolutely. cause. We do um, several different causes. Yes. And we love for um, the stylists and barbers, the TASB volunteers, to bring it to, bring their ideas of who they want to help to our table so that we can, you know, help everybody. Well, I tell you, that is definitely the reason why we are spotlighting like you, you know, for your time in creating this the heart that drives with something like this together and keeping it. Because again, you know, these are things that you don't get paid for, okay? But to have the heart to see it through. Exactly. And so that's the reason why we are spotlighting you. You know, mm -hmm. I also love the spotlight you put on in my magazine. Well. Yes. And we have an award celebration that's going to be here to where we always um, give out awards to humanitarian um, stylists and barbers that just are deserving of getting out of their comfort zone and, yes. and making things um, special. So um, that's another reason why I like sharing the uh, 
stylist and barbers accomplishment and what we do and what we're uh, the causes that we create it's all about you know letting people know and creating the awareness of what we do yeah, absolutely i tell you if you now what we are doing the hair debate is hosting right at elevation hair studio okay we are going to light it up blue and go there okay so i love that <laughs> Hair debate, where we come to debate, debunk, and discover all things hair. 